Out on the roads, and this is the A12 in Romford. Eastern Avenue West is closed currently between Whalebone Lane North and Morney Road. It's all because of a burst water main, and you can expect long delays around there. On the M25, we've got two lanes closed anti-clockwise between junctions 4 and 5, and one lane closed clockwise. It's after a lorry went through the central reservation. And in Chislehurst, a sinkhole on Bromley Road means it's closed between Camden Park Road and Blackbook Lane. Now the weather with Kate Kinsella. Good morning. It was another warm night last night, but this morning it is feeling a touch fresher than it has done for the last couple of mornings. It is, however, another hot and sunny day. Now, the temperature today likely to be the hottest this week. We're looking at a maximum of 33, maybe 34 Celsius. If it does get that high, it's looking like the hottest June day since 1976. Lots of sunshine, not as much cloud around, so the UV levels today are very high. The pollen count remains very high as well. Now, it looks like the last of the very hot days this week is a bit of a change of foot overnight. Tonight, still warm and muggy, 19 to 21 Celsius the minimum, but tomorrow we'll see this cloud moving in and with it the potential for some thundery quite heavy showers for a time clearing away in the afternoon the temperature still likely to reach 25 celsius but after those showers clear it introduces some fresher air so gradually getting cooler through thursday another cold front heading our way for friday again fresher still could get some light outbreaks of drizzle and some rain overnight friday into saturday morning but again that will clear out of the way so gradually the temperature is going to fall it is going to be another warm one today a warm night tonight but from tomorrow onwards things getting much much cooler and that's all for now i'll be back in half an hour bye bye